Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. It's what you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. Lupe, Lupita Rodina! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mackenzie Dunn! You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and it has been amazing to watch the star power increase for one Mackenzie Dern. There was a time when she had negative emotions about mixed martial arts training, not anymore. Now, she is on a definite strawweight championship trajectory, and she said if she can take this opponent down, ideally submit her in short order, there will be no denying her as this division's number one contender. She landed a hell of a front kick there. That's a great Muay Thai technique when your opponent's trying to charge you. You land that kick to try to back him up and get your space exactly where you need it. Oh, can you hear the reaction from the crowd as another outside leg kick? Dern's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, she might have that locked in. Oh, I thought she might succumb. She gets out. I thought she was going to sleep. I thought it was over. Nice strike lands from the bottom fight. Rodinez is in half guard. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. She's in trouble, dude. Rodinez's pass attempt denied. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. And now she has her back. Submission here. What a transition. Arm and very tight. Oh, oh, somehow oh, she gets out. Oh, it was locked in. She somehow survived. All right, well, through no lack of effort, she still hasn't been able to get the submission. You gotta credit the defense at some point. Absolutely. This young lady is so present defensively when she's under attack. She never panics. She's so calm under pressure. She seems to be a person that can't be submitted. Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the field. The crowd's going crazy because they just saw two high-level grapplers mix it up on the ground. It was phenomenal to watch. Kickboxing 101. Another shot here. Beautiful straight punch there by Godinez. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? She got that leg kick off quick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. She got that single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice elbow. She lands again. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. And she misses with the left punch there. Takedown defense holds up. And lands the left there. Leg kick checked by Loopy. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice jab, counter for her there. That was a nice play. Hook to the headlands, flush there by Godinez. 
takedown attempt late in the round, and she gets it. All right, full guard here for the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard, throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Great work here from the bottom fighter. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Clean punch. Just out of range with that right hand. Dorn's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, doing work with the jab. So she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets long. Well, that's takedown defense 101. She stuffs yet another shot right there. We told you off the top if she could stay upright, probably was going to be her fight to lose. And she's fighting really well because she understands that she holds the advantage in the stand, in the striking. That is her realm. Although she's very balanced, she is a better striker than this Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. And by staying upright, by defending takedowns, she is able to prove that. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Takedown defense is there. All right, so perhaps a little dirty boxing is in order now as she gains the clinch position yet again. She does a good job of getting chest to chest, trying to impose herself on her opponent, make her carry her weight, and really make her work the entire time in the end. Her striking has been great tonight, rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the finish. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This one looks like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she's going all out to try to finish the fight. Godinez is back into full guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Well, we haven't really seen her famed jiu-jitsu game just yet, but of course, if it's not broken, don't fix it, and she has realized a ton of success with her striking here tonight. Every day, you have to get better. 1%, they say, as an athlete. She has shown that she got better every single day in her training camp because we don't see her chasing takedowns as desperately as we normally see. She is comfortable in the stand-up, and she is winning these striking exchanges. Turns back to the side control now. 
Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's it's an overwhelming feeling. Arm triangle attempt by her here. Arm triangle. Oh, looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. getting their chest flat to the mat and defending that arm triangle. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Go Watch on. for the huge elbows that she's known for. Dern's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Good, solid strike on the ground. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question. Right hand after right hand from the top position. Dern's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. All right, so now she chooses to bail on the submission, preferring to maintain a dominant position. Very smart. It was a wise decision. You can see her fight IQ on display there, not giving up a position to try to chase a submission. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so she does survive to see the next round, but as we show you some replays, DC, nobody's gonna be kissing her on the cheek anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's a nasty cut on the cheek. She got hit with some big shots. And they really have taken an effect on her. Look at the cut on the cheek. And it was that shot right there that opened up the cut. You ready? You ready? Do Here it. we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. And doing work with the jab. Nice hook lands. Godinez, his nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. She's got the spot. Big take down. Attempting a choke now. Oh, she's got the arm triangle locked in tight. She's got it in deep now. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lupi. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by she the bottom She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. She is so dominant from the top position. Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the feet. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating the high-level ground exchanges that they just experienced. Nicely done with the kick by her there. She's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. The more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. Oh, man, she's got great fighting instincts, right? Reverses position, and now she's in a position to potentially finish the fight. Yeah, she did a great job recognizing that she position. was going to have to change something. Not only did she reverse the position, she finds herself in a very dominant position herself. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Well, her reactions are really starting to change now as her opponent continues to pepper the ball. They're big. You can see that she's almost panicking. She doesn't want to get hit anymore. You can see the damage that she has taken to the body. So she's overcompensating for trying to defend herself. She better slow down and try to change the way that this fight's playing out. 
Certainly a strong front runner for fight of the night as we go down to the wire here between these two combatants. They're both so skilled. They're both so prepared. We knew right away this is going to be a very evenly matched competition. Turns hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Oh, that would hurt finally, yep. Look at that. Quick finish. That was beautiful. Turns in half guard now. She's not going to get it. Great awareness and execution by the defensive fighter. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. All right, she's in the north-south position. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Oh, right into mouth. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. She's got her back now. Turns able to flatten her out. She could be in real trouble now. Ground and pound strike there now. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in the fight. Godinez is in half guard. Final seconds of the fight. Dern's looking for that arm triangle now. And that is how you end a fight. All right, so the women go the distance here tonight, entertaining fight throughout. And she really got it done with her striking, I think. She got it done with her stand-up. That's what she's known for. It's her calling card. It's exactly what we come to expect when this young lady steps into the octagon, throwing her punches and punches, landing beautiful kicks. What a great performance. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. To the winner by unanimous decision, Mackenzie Dunn! All right, Buff, thank you very much. No surprise as she gets it done on all three judges' scorecards. Her jiu-jitsu is at such a high level, so fun to watch. Kind of makes me want to go back and put the gi on just a little no, bit. John, you don't. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Go no, we're not going to do it. You don't want to go back. <laughs> it's hard, man, and it's fun. It's fun to watch, but it's really hard to implement, especially at this level. So to watch her dominate in the way that she did truly is special. Guys, take it in. Pay attention because this is a high-level grappler. We don't see many that are at this high of a level.